In football, they have two-minute warnings, two minutes before the end of the half or the end of the game. In life, we get two-minute warnings as well that should guide us in our investments. We had the bombings of Pearl Harbor. That should have been a two-minute warning. Then we had the bombings or the flat planes flying into the Twin Towers. That's a two-minute warning. Then we had the balloon mortgages that were offered to people back in the 07, 08, 09. That was a two-minute warning of the subprime crisis. And then we had the uh, secretaries becoming billionaires and millionaires in Silicon Valley in 2000. That was a two-minute warning of the dot-com bubble. We had $9 trillion come into the economy in nine months in 2020. So that's a two-minute warning. And just today, we got a two-minute warning from Vladimir Putin. And you need to know how to invest accordingly. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. И это и территориальная целостность для обеспечения безопасности нашего народа и людей на освобожденных территориях. Считаю необходимым поддержать предложение Министерства обороны и Генерального штаба о проведении в Российской Федерации частичной мобилизации, но и о высказываниях некоторых высокопоставленных представителей ведущих государств НАТО о возможности и допустимости применения против России оружия массового поражения, ядерного оружия. Хочу напомнить, что наша страна также располагает различными средствами поражения, а по отдельным компонентам и более современным, чем у стран НАТО. И при угрозе территориальной целостности нашей страны для защиты России и нашего народа мы, безусловно, используем все имеющиеся в нашем распоряжении средства. Это не блин. I hope you were able to grasp that. Vladimir is being backed into a corner, and like a raccoon, he's going to fight to the end. So we have to take that into consideration if, in fact, we're investors and we want to react to it. Do we just move to the sideline, or do we take heed and find, where do I invest when the world goes into um, war? And I don't know that it will happen, but... As a result of his warning, his two-minute warning, we have to act accordingly. That is, the United States, that is, corporations need to react at the potential of this happening. So I'm looking at it and saying, where do I want to invest if this happens or if it doesn't happen? And I've picked six areas that I think I want to be a part of. First of all, I've started to short the S&P 500. If, in fact, we go to war, there's going to be a tremendous amount of fear that is going to go across our nation on top of the fact that we're dealing with increasing uh, interest rates, which are just a direct result of the increase in debt that we have had. And thus, we, it, it, as a result of $9 trillion flowing into our into our economy in nine months in, in 2020. That's to be understood, and it will continue to affect our country because we increased our money supply by 40%. So it's going to be a while before we get out from underneath that. It is a it is in itself, as I said, a two-minute warning. Look again at private equity. I've talked to you about Disruptor. It's a way that you can at, get access to the major changes of the world in the, in the coming uh, years. This is going to be where you're going to get access to th companies like Stripe or SpaceX or Neuralink companies that are going to change your life. And as we go into these troubled and, and questionable times, the values of those companies are going to come down and you're going to be able to go in through Disruptor and, and pick up some bargains. Now, you got to be an accredited investor, but, and that's all explained on the app. So go to your app, Put it on your phone and make it something that you go to and you make note what is what is SpaceX selling for today. Come back in a week and see what it's selling for next week. You're going to see those prices going down. And if you're ever going to invest in private equity, now is the time to do it as we move into these de depressed times. The next area I think you should consider 
is the weapons of war. What are the weapons of war? Food, petroleum, and defense stocks. To that end, I'm investing in Occidental Petroleum. I'm taking a position in LNG um, because of their predominance in selling liquid natural gas. And if, in fact, Vladimir lives up to his threats of turning the oil and the gas off for Europe, LNG is going to benefit substantially. At least that's my belief. I believe Occidental Petroleum will benefit as well. I'm also watching Lockheed Martin. I saw a show on Sunday morning with Jane Polly makes a rocket launcher that they're using extensively over in Ukraine, and they are selling them as fast as they can make them. They also make other defense equipment. And if, in fact, Vladimir pulls us into that war, Lockheed Martin should do quite well. My other movements relative to two-minute warnings are those who are being initiated by China and Xi Jinping. I think Xi Jinping has made some mistakes over the past, and uh, they're going to come back and haunt him. It's the collapse of the Chinese economy, and I've gone into great detail why I believe that's going to happen in prior videos, and if you haven't seen them, go back into the library and find them. But with that in mind, I'm shorting China. I'm using a ETF YXI to short China, and then I'm also going long India, and that is to believe uh, my belief that as we decrease our dependence on China for all kinds of perfectly good reasons, strategic, uh, national security, a dependence on a country who is openly aggressive against us, another potential war uh, participant. I want to short China and I want to go long India because I think India is a democracy that in fact is more aligned with the United States, recognizing the opportunities that this will bring to the Indian people and the po politicians are lining up with the NATO that India will be our next factory. So I am long I-N-D-A. With that done, those are my two-minute warnings, and these are the six stocks that I'm using to beef up my portfolio in this troubled times that we're going into. And that is SQQ, short on the NASDAQ market, the SQQ, uh, Lockheed Martin, LMT, uh, Shenire Energy, LNG, Occidental Petroleum, OXY, my short on China, YXI, and my long on India, INDA. Those are my six stocks that I think will pay me high dividends or high returns as we move through this troubled time. Now, as we get through the troubled time, I will go back into my big tech stocks, my Amazons, my Google, my uh, Microsoft, my um, Apple, and NVIDIA, and probably advanced micro devices. But for now, I'm off of that because we have difficult times in front of us. We have two-minute warnings that I have to pay attention to in order to become a profitable uh, investor. I'm looking to make money in these down times, and I've just shared with you how I'm going to do it. Now, I want to get back to you with more information on this as we move forward. As this situation evolves, there are going to be more opportunities that are going to come for forward, particularly relative to petroleum and food. Those are going to be the major weapons of war, and those are going to be some investment opportunities. But I want you to understand the world changes, and it's changing more rapidly than it ever has. We haven't seen anything like this since Nikita Khrushchev threatened us with missiles in Cuba. We got through that, but I don't think we're going to get through this as easy because Vladimir, Vladimir's backed into a corner, and, and he, he has no way out other than being more aggressive, or we get our senses together and we all sit down around a big table 
and we say, how can we get out of this where everybody wins? Is that going to happen? It has never happened in the past, but I have hope that maybe it will happen here in the future. All right, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you.